Speed Racer movie review. The kid Speed Racer, and yes, that is seriously his name, can think of nothing other than racing. When his brother dies, he briefly takes a back seat to that, but when he grows up, he actually begins to race seriously. The corporate owner, that guy, Royalton, after spending a lot of time and energy trying to convince everyone that he is not a jerk, reveals that he's a jerk and tells Speed Racer that he has to race for him or he'll regret it. Speed Racer pretty much says, no offense, but you're the devil, and declines. And yes, the rest of the film is racing with the jerk trying desperately to stop Speed Racer. The characters are pretty pointless. There are way too many of them. The acting is so-so at best. The comic relief is obnoxious. The comedy is silly. The dialogue is really poor. I mean, I would... Yeah. If I didn't know any better, I would think I was watching a Saturday morning cartoon. Yes, it is a pretty accurate adaptation of at least the feel of one such. I have not watched the actual show. I could imagine that fans of the actual show might be disappointed because that's usually the case. So if you don't think you can handle that this or that detail is slightly off in the movie, then don't watch it. It's the case with any of these adaptations. The, the film is too long, and the first half or so is pretty much just exposition, and the structure is odd, because it keeps going back and forth between past and present, at times really leaving you baffled as to what you're watching. However, after that, the film really gets to be fun, and the last half of it is just plain entertaining. There's a pretty good deal of racing, and the racing is awesome. Gravity-defying, beautifully choreographed, marvelously animated, and just really, really exciting. You find yourself really caring who wins. It also does do a lot to keep itself grounded in the fact that there are a lot of audience reactions cut into it. It is not just watching a video game, which it kind of is. The there, there is a little bit of martial arts also, and that's pretty cool. In general, the action is really cool. The villains are a bit on the goofy side with one or two possible exceptions, and while I get that this is a children's film, and it very much is, I do still implore movie makers to please go for more sinister ones, because as someone who used to be a kid, I can assure you we love creepy villains. We love it when they're really, really badass, and when the good guy still wins. Goofy villains are only fun for so long. Overall, it's not the Wachowski's best, but it's a fun ride if you're in for some mindless action and you don't expect it to have much of any dramatic cleverness to it. It's, it's engaging enough, but it's pretty clear that, you know, it's all there for this one core conflict of, you know, the independent racers versus the big evil corporations, and that's kind of it. You know, there's no other real conflict to it, and there are certainly characters that could have been removed. 
think the movie would do better if someone made a bootleg cut that excised the monkey. What? I get it. What kind of lousy kids movie does not have a monkey just to ensure that there is no shred of dignity? But the monkey and the kid, Spritel, if you take those out, if you take you know some of the other things out that just in the end really don't add and really didn't need to be there, it'd be better. This would also make a great game, and yes, I know there is a game, I might check it out at some point. And yes, it's a licensed game, but it, if one has the budget and the time, then this is the kind of game opportunity that is very difficult to mess up if you also have the skill.